guys, Taylor here, your backstage beautician, and today we're doing an 1840s inspired party hairstyle for the ensemble of the play, A Christmas Carol. And since so many people know and love it, I figure there's a pretty good chance you or someone you know is going to be in it this Christmas, so I thought I'd give you a party hairstyle you can wear to Fezziwig's ballroom. Does Fezziwig make anyone else just think of like fizzy, like alcoholic beverages, or is that just me? I'm going to give you guys a couple different options. There's one for a half up and half down do, and there's two different options for the front of the hair to help make it a little more period appropriate for the 1840s or a little more wearable if you're not feeling the whole ringlets in front of your face thing. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, so I filmed this at midnight, so excuse me if I look a little rough. I was definitely feeling kind of rough. So first thing I did was separate all the little wispies all around my face. I started in front of my face on either side of my parting, and then I went around and separated out the wispies in the back. So here you can see I kind of started with a comb and then ended up using my fingers because I could feel it better when I couldn't see. Put the rest of the hair in a bun so that you can put your little wispies in foam rollers. You can see I got really long hair and a lot of it gets stuck on my foam rollers. So get them wet, brush them out, wrap them around foam roller, tie it against your head. Pretty simple. Okay, do the same thing with the wispies in the back. I kind of thought of them as my north, south, east, west rollers for my wispies. Don't ask me why, it's just kind of how I thought of it. Then once you're done with that, you can take your bun out of your hair, brush it out, and start doing that with all of your hair. First thing you're gonna wanna do though is make a middle part. Don't forget this, the middle part is very important to the 1840s. So put your hair down the middle and put your rollers in with the middle part in. Trust me, it'll save you so much time in the morning. Look, I did one, doesn't it look great? You couldn't see it at all, so don't worry, you'll be able to see the other side a lot better. Okay, so you've got your middle part. We're gonna go around and put loose rollers in all the way around. You don't need them tight to your head because we're not going for the 1940s. <laughs> we're going for the 1840s. And all we really care about is the ringlets at the end. Oh, look, I did three. Doesn't it look great? That's what they're supposed to look like. Kind of loose. They only really need to hit your chin because we don't really care what the top looks like. That's just gonna be smoothed down to your head anyways. So save yourself some time and just put them at the ends of your hair for now. If you really want to be historically accurate, you can use rag curls or pillow curls or something that's made out of cloth and is only ends of your hair. I only have foam rollers, I only know how to use foam rollers, so uh, I whip these babies out. Oh, by the way, fun fact, most foam rollers that you get in stores are pink. Did you know that these were also pink when they were bought, probably in the 80s? Well, it's currently 2018 and they are now orange and some of them are yellow, so don't judge. So here's my process. I would brush my hair out, get a little bit wet, put a little bit of gel in it as my styling product, brush it out again, and then put the foam roller over it. I use the Garnier Fructis Curl Scrunch Gel. It's pretty light. If you use just a tiny bit over wet hair, it's not crunchy at all. And so I went around and did this all over my hair in a haphazard manner. It does not matter what it looks like. Can't you see so much better on this side? You're welcome. Foam rollers are really easy to use, but if you need a tutorial to get a little bit of help, uh, sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing either, so use the search bar right above you and then come back to this video. Just kidding, please don't leave. Yay, I'm all done. Don't I look beautiful? Yeah, that was my back. All right, good night. We're back, it's the morning. All right, first thing we're going to do is take out all of our rollers, except for the four we did for our little wispy bangs. First thing we're going to do is double check we have a very severe middle part that was very common for this time period. Then you're going to separate out all the hair in front of your ears on either side of your middle part. When you go to make this front parting, do your best to make it as symmetrical as possible on both sides. Pin the rest of your hair out of the way and we're going to create two looping braids on either side with these front sections. I ran a quick brush through mine and then we're going to start the braid at the top working our way downward. Once I get to the end I'm going to fluff out my braid just the tiniest bit to add a tiny bit more volume. Then we're going to add a hair elastic leaving the curly ends out. We're going to use those later. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side braiding regularly until you reach the curly ends of the hair. Then put an elastic in the ends of the hair. Then we're gonna move on to the rest of the hair. First thing you're going to do is put the rest of your hair into two horizontal sections. 
Taking the top section, we're gonna spritz a little bit of water on the top and then comb it back really smooth and straight. This is gonna feel a little bit like your mom's putting your hair up for a dance recital when you were eight years old again. That's good, we want it really slick and straight. If you find the water isn't enough, you can always use a bit of hairspray or even gel if you get that desperate. Taking this bit of hair, you're gonna put it into a half bun. So take the elastic and put your hair through it. I'm gonna twist the elastic around my hair a second time. And instead of pulling the tail of your hair all the way through, I'm going to pull it halfway through and stop. We want this to stand up because we're going to pin around it later. So take a regular bobby pin and pin it in the hair elastic at the top. So put the bobby pin through the elastic, turn and face it down into the bun. So you have two options here. You can either do a half up and half down, only pinning some of your hair up and leaving the skirt of the hair down in the back, or you can pin it all up and do an updo in a bun. So to get started, we're going to take these sections from near our face, keeping the ringlets intact. To start arranging the curls, we're going to take the pieces that frame our face and pull them back to cover the elastic on our bun. And from here, we're just gonna start pinning things back. I'm going to do my braids next. So taking the braid, I'm going to keep it quite low here, looping over my ear, and then pull it back up, pin it in place. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then from here on out, we're just arranging the curls how we want on our head. So I'll take about a one to two inch section of hair, about a quarter of a serving size box of pasta. I'll brush it out, wrap the ringlet around my finger so it pops back together, and then pin it on my head. All right, once you've pinned your hair up how you like it, we're gonna take down our bangs. If you have longer hair like I do, you might need to pin and arrange some of these pieces. A lot of the play A Christmas Carol takes place in Fezziwig's house or ballroom, so you're going to be in a party look most of the time. So it's safe to assume you're going to have some fun ribbons and accessories in your hair. If you have fresh flowers or fake flowers, you can use a lot of those in your hair. I'm going to use some ribbon. I had some green ribbon, which I thought was pretty festive. And there you are, an 1840s inspired Christmas Carol party hairstyle. All right, if you're looking to get the more era appropriate ringlets by your face kind of look, you're going to nix the braids on the side of your face. Then you're going to take the hair in front of your ears, twist them into really tight, clear ringlets, and create some faux bangs on either side of your face. Don't be too worried about how obvious you make the pins that pin up your faux bangs because we're gonna cover these up with accessories in a little bit. And then we're back with our trusty bows and pin them right into the bobby pins you use to create your faux bangs. And there's this hairstyle. You can see why I didn't give you guys this one first. It kind of makes you look like a poodle. But this hairstyle is the more era appropriate one. So it's up to you which one you'd like to go for. I don't know, maybe with the right face, someone could make this look cute. All I know is on me, this is not cute. If you're really feeling festive, you can even put some fake Christmas greenery in your hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, or maybe consider pressing the subscribe button if you wanna see more of my beautiful face. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, break a leg on your production of A Christmas Carol. Bye.